protect you. You can't protect your family. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 action thriller Little Dixie. The film is written and directed by John Swab and it stars Frank Grillo, Annabelle Gish, Eric Dane, Peter Green, Bo Knapp and we also have Sophia Bryant. Right, the film focuses on Frank Grillo's character Doc who essentially is, he's like ex-Special Forces, and he's like the go-between for like a US Senator, um, played by Eric Dane, and like um, a Mexican drug cartel. Um, so in order for him to kind of get where he's needed to be as a US Senator, he's needed the support of this drug cartel, um, this uh, Senator. So there's kind of an uneasy truce between the two, this cartel and the Senator. He kind of agrees to leave them be, um, and they kind of will fund him secretly for this, that, and the other. Uh, and Doc kind of acts as the in-between between them both, you know what I mean? And Annabelle Gish as well um, works on doing that. However... There is a breakdown, uh, and the truce ends when this senator decides to go up against this cartel and basically go to war with them. This, this then leads Frank Grillo's character Doc in a very, very vulnerable position, uh, and it puts him and his family in immediate danger, and in actual fact his daughter is kidnapped by a hitman for this cartel, and they inform him that he has to take out this senator or his daughter will be killed. And his daughter is called Little Dixie. Right. What are my thoughts on Little Dixie? Well, um, if you watch my content fairly regular, you know, I, I review a lot of like, you know, low budget B movie, action films, horror films, sci fi films, the whole shebang. And unfortunately, while I really do like Frank Grillo, he does appear in a lot of these movies, unnecessarily so, and I seem to say it every time I see him in one of these low-budget films, what are you doing, Frank Grillo? However, you might be expecting me to say, well, he's at it again here with this film, but no, this film is more like it, Frank Grillo. These, this is the sort of film that Frank Grillo should be making. It's not as high-profile as it should be, you could argue. It's not exactly going to, you know, light up his filmography or anything, but is the main star, and it's a nicely put-together film. Um, and I, I, I found the whole thing quite watchable, if a little bit flawed. Um, the, the character, Frank Grillo's character... Doc, he kind of is not necessarily the hero of the film because he very much uh, operates in the grey area in this film. He does some really quite questionable things, uh, but it's in the aid of trying to get his daughter back. So you could kind of say it's justified, um, the things that he's doing, but he does do some very, very questionable things um, with a chainsaw and taking out people who you would think, well, uh, uh, what are you doing? You're supposed to be like the character I'm supporting. So it's one of those films where there's no right or wrong, there's no good or bad, there's just a character, Doc, in a situation, and he has to make the best of it. He's got to do what he has to do to get his daughter back. So it doesn't present anybody as a shining light of goodness, this film. It is very much a film set heavily in the grey area and all the characters. Um, I think Bo Knapp's character, who plays like this Mexican hitman, plays a particularly sinister role. Um, he's just brutal and cold and will literally kill anybody for any reason. And the film even explores him and his personality and what made him that way. Uh, which I thought was nice. A lot of these movies, uh, you'll get like a one-dimensional villain um, with no backstory um, and nothing else to him other than he's a cold-blooded killer. Whereas this guy, Cuckoo, I think he's called, he's cold-blooded. I mean, in a way that you just won't believe at times. He's completely and utterly sinister. Um but you also get to learn that he's actually quite a layered character. You learn a little bit more about him. It doesn't make you like the character. It just 
gives you a little bit more to appreciate about the character so you've got a little bit more of an understanding of who he is and why he's doing the things he's doing um so there are other run-of-the-mill things you know like the the, the usual you know frank doc frank Gillow's character doc is you know separated stroke divorced from his wife he's estranged from her um you know he meets his daughter in secret all this kind of stuff you've got the guy selling weapons in the motels and you know you get some fairly um generic standard writing going on here but i i do think for the most part the characters here were well written um i thought frank grillo played his role really really well like i say uh, he doesn't pretend to be the hero in this film. He's absolutely not the hero. He's just a guy in a bad situation, got to do what he can do to try and get um, his daughter back. And then you've got this hitman. Um, and so f the most of the film is is basically that. You know, you get the setup with him and the senator and all that kind of stuff that's going off. You get the uh, uneasy truce between the two and you get how um, easily that can be broken, that, that trust and that truce. Um, and then it kind of tips over the edge in the second act and you're like, oh my God, it's all going off now. Uh, how, and it's one of those films where you're kind of like, how is he going to get out of this, Doc? How is he going to, what's he going to do? What's what's he got up his sleeve? Uh, what's he going to do next? It's, so so it, kind of, it keeps you on the edge of your seat for the most part, this film. So I was suitably impressed with this film. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was well made. I thought the performances were good. And this is the sort of film that I want to see Frank Grillo in. Um, I don't like seeing him in these no-budget B-movie type things um, that are just almost a stain on his filmography because when, when he delivers, when he's in films like Cop Shop, when he's in films like this, um, you know, and, he's, and he does some of the other stuff that you see him in, that are, you know, much more high profile, he is... And I think um, a good leading man. It's just a shame that he didn't kind of fee find his leading man credentials a little bit earlier in his career. I think we would have had a really, really strong action star for a number of years. Uh, but as it stands, if you like Frank Grillo and you like anything, anything of what I've mentioned of this film, if it sounds interesting, then check it out. You might not be disappointed. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.